Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 24. So if A and B represents adjacent side of a triangle, then its area is given by 1 by 2 A cross B. And it is very easy to prove this because you know that A cross B is nothing but magnitude of A magnitude of B into sin theta. Correct? And 1 by 2 A cross B will be 1 by 2 of this. Now, if this is my B A vector, this is B vector, what will be my this guy? BC? BC will be nothing but B sin theta. I'm talking about the magnitude of BC. Correct? And what is the area of triangle? Area of triangle is nothing but 1 by 2 into base, base is AC, that is magnitude of A into uh, BC, that is magnitude of B sin theta. And what is AB sin theta? AB sin theta is nothing but A cross B magnitude. Please note the area of triangle with uh, AB as two adjacent side will be and with theta with the angle between them is A cross B magnitude of A cross B. Please note I am taking the magnitude of A cross B because the area of triangle is scalar. So A cross B is a vector. Correct. But I am talking about the area. So I will do A cross B and take magnitude. So this will become scalar. I hope you understand why we took this magnitude of A cross B because A cross B was a vector. I was looking for area. Area is scalar. So I took a magnitude of this vector A cross B to get a scalar quantity. Similarly, same thing in case of parallelogram, what is the area of parallelogram? Area of parallelogram is base into height, right? So area of A, B, C, D in this case will be base that is A, B into height that is D, right? What is A, B? A, B is nothing but this B vector, B vector magnitude of B vector. What is D? A sin theta. Correct. If this is A, this will be A sin theta, this will be A cos theta, so this is A sin theta. And this guy is nothing but uh, magnitude of A cross B. And that is my answer. So very easy. Just understand that you have two vectors A and B. The magnitude of A cross B will be the area of parallelogram and half of the magnitude of A cross B will be, will be the area of triangle. You don't need to remember also, you can just derive whenever required. The distributive property that is true for cross product, that is, it says that if we have three vectors A, B and C, they are three vectors and this lambda be any scalar, then you say A cross B plus C, this is equal to A cross B plus A cross C. This is a distributive property that holds true. Also, you say lambda into A cross B that is equal to lambda A cross B or you say A into lambda B. So that means distributive property holds true. Please note distributive property holds true for vector but commutative property doesn't hold true. A cross B is not equal to B cross A. In fact, A cross B is equal to minus B cross A. Correct? But when you say A cross B plus C, that is equal to a cross b plus a cross c. This is true. So when you, are, if you multiply lambda first and then do a cross product or you la multiply lambda with a first then do a cross product or you say a and then multiply with lambda b all are same. So distributive property holds true for this cross product. So let's take one uh, vector cross product for general vector. So I have Vector A that is A1 plus A, A1 I plus A2 J plus A3 K, a general vector. And I have a vector B, B1 I plus B2 J plus B3 K. I have to find A cross B. Let's see what the value is. This value will come out to be this guy. It's complex guy. That is, it is a matrix form with this I, J, K and A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3. I'll prove this. To prove this, Let's find A cross B. A cross B is nothing but A is here A1 I plus A2 J 
plus A3K cross B, that is B1I, B2J, B3K. Correct? For all you add this cap. Now we'll multiply A1, B1, A1, B1, and this is I cross I, I cross I, plus A1, B2, I cross J, A1, B2, I cross J, correct? Then we have A1, B3, I cross K, plus A1, B3, I cross K, A1 is done. Plus, let's try with A2, A2, B1, J cross I. A2, B1, J cross I. Then we have A2, B2, J cross J. A2, B2, J cross J. Then I have A2, B3, J cross K. A2, B3, J cross K. Then I have A3 remaining now. A3, B1, K cross I. A3, B1, K cross I. Then I have A3, B2, K cross J plus A3, B2, K cross J. Then I have A3, B3, K cross K. A3, B3, K cross K. All will have caps. So let me put this cap, which I have not put. All these guys will have a cap. J cap, I cap, J cap, K cap, I cap, J cap, I cap. This is what you get. Now I know that I cross I, J cross J, K cross K, they are all equal to zero. So let's remove this part. I cross I, J cross J, K cross K. Done. Also, I know this rule. We have I, J, and K. Let's draw a clockwise thing here directly. Fast. I cross J will be K. I cross J will be K. Correct. I cross K, the next one we have. I cross K will be minus J, I cross K will be minus J. Then I have J cross I, J cross I will be minus K, J cross I will be minus K. Then I have J cross K, J cross K will be I, J cross K will be I, J cross K will be I. Then I have K cross I, K cross I will be J, K cross I will be J. And then I have K cross J. K cross J, it is in the opposite direction, anti-clockwise direction. So K cross J will be minus I. K cross J will be. So let's put all these values here. So this becomes A1, B2. I cross J is K, K cap plus A1, B3. I cross K was minus J, J cap. I'll put a minus here. Plus. Then I have A, A to B1, A to B1, J cross I, J cross I is minus K. So I'll put a K cap, I'll put a minus sign here. Then I have A3, B2, A3, B2, sorry, A, A2, B3. This guy is A2, B3. A2, B3, J cross K, J cross K is I. So I'll put an I here, I'll put a plus sign here. Then I have A3, B1, this guy, K cross I is J. I'll put a J cap here. I'll put a plus sign here. Right? Then I have A3, B2. A3, B2. K cross J is minus I. So I'll put a I here. I'll put a minus. Correct. So let me now club all I, J and K thing. So if I club I, I, I have this guy. I'll put a star here. And this guy. That is a2 b3 minus a3 b2 i cap. I'm done with i cap. Correct. Plus for j cap, I have this guy. I'll put a circle here, j cap here, and this guy is a3 b1 a1 b3. a3 b1 minus a1 b3 j cap. Correct. Plus for K, the remaining one, I'll put some sign actually. I'll put a square here so that you understand this. And I'll put a square here also. So this becomes uh, A1, B2, and A2, B1. That is 
वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन ठीक है करेक्ट एंड इफ यू सी दिस गाय इज एग्जैक्टली सेम है दिस लेट मी एक्सपैंड दिस सो ए क्रॉस बी यू हैव दिस और ए क्रॉस बी दिस एक्सपैंड दिस सो आई दिस बिकम्स आई कैप इन टू ए टू बी थ्री माइनस बी टू ए थ्री ए टू बी थ्री माइनस ए थ्री बी टू देन अगेन विल गेट माइनस जे हेयर माइनस जे इन टू ए वन बी थ्री माइनस बी वन ए थ्री ए वन बी थ्री माइनस बी वन ए थ्री प्लस के कैप इन टू ए वन बी टू माइनस बी वन ए टू ए वन बी टू माइनस बी वन ए टू सो इफ यू सी दिस बोथ आ सी एक्चुअली हेयर दिस इज अ प्लस हेयर बिकॉज दिस इज फ्लिप्ट दिस इज ए थ्री बी वन माइनस ए वन बी थ्री दिस इज ए वन बी थ्री माइनस ए थ्री बी वन सो बोथ आ सेम एक्चुअली और लेट मी वी राइट दिस दिस बिकम्स आई इन टू ए टू बी थ्री माइनस ए थ्री बी टू प्लस जे एल फ्लिप द स्काई दिस विल बिकम ए थ्री बी वन माइनस ए वन बी थ्री प्लस खे कैप इन टू ए वन बी टू माइनस बी वन ए सो नाउ इफ यू सी दिस गाय एंड दिस गाय आर एग्जैक्टली सेम करेक्ट सो नेक्स्ट टाइम यू आर सपोज टू फाइंड द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट यू डोंट नीड डू ऑल दिस थिंग कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस इट्स वेरी सिंपल आई जे खे ए वन बी वन और ए वन ए वन ए टू ए थ्री बी वन बी टू ए थ्री वेरी सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड और वेरी सिंपल टू मेमराइज ऑल्सो आई जे खे ए वन ए टू ए थ्री बी वन बी टू बी थ्री दैट्स एट थैंक यू विजिट एग्जाम फेयर डॉट कॉम टू वॉच फ्री एजुकेशनल वीडियोज ट्राई फ्री ऑनलाइन टेस्ट गेट द बेस्ट क्वालिटी स्टडी मेटेरियल्स स्टडी फ्रॉम द बेस्ट ट्यूटर्स एंड मेंटर्स एंड मैच बो थैंक्स अगेन